or it, the, the other one can be given to the majority leader so that as we debate you know members are informed in terms of uh, uh, the areas we could uh, you know tighten you see it, it, it says that this authority has first to classify a disaster as either a county uh, disaster or a disaster falling within uh, the remit of national government before any action or intervention can take place assume it was something like that terrorist attack and this classification is not timed even the terrorist attack we had at the, at the embassy of the united states here uh, how, how do you see this you know working and at this up close you're saying until a disaster is classified by the authority it shall be deemed to be a county disaster. It's true, Honorable Speaker, that whenever a disaster occurs or threatens, I don't know how it will threaten, <laughs> to occur, the authority shall determine whether the event is a disaster under this act, and if so, immediately assess the magnitude and severity or potential magnitude and severity of the disaster, then classify the disaster as a county disaster or national disaster. And see, record the prescribed. Honorable Speaker, I think these are some of the issues, Honorable Speaker, uh, on uh, hindsight. I say we, together with the committee, will be looking at possible mm. amendments mm. so that it is clear that the authority is to determine, you know, when a disaster occurs mm. or when it threatens to occur, for instance, when it is raining and uh, trees are falling off the hilly uh, mm. parts of uh, Muranga or uh, Elgeo Marakot or West Pokot, and there is a threat that uh, there, there is likely to be a landslide. Then the authority, we cannot wait for the authority to determine whether that disaster will be localized in that area or whether national government should intervene, um, uh, because it's quite clear that a disaster is likely to occur or one has already occurred. Mm. They should be able to move with speed and be able to determine the magnitude, and I think uh, we'll do some cleanup in this particular section uh, mm. to make it clear, uh, so that again we are not bogged down, as I was saying earlier, by bureaucracies also uh, that mm. we also create in law. Yeah, th thank you very much, and I think um, in that endeavour, the committee should also look at even the definition of disaster is too broad. Anything that causes death, injury, or disease, damages property, infrastructure, or environment, significant disruption of life to a community is a disaster. You may end up in a situation where everything is a disaster waiting for national government you know, intervention. And as we do that, we also look at the, the fourth schedule in terms of the kind of disaster the counties can give them so that we delineate them. The Honorable Dr. James Nikan, the MP for Senate. Honorable Mili, what is out of order? Thank you, Chair, for giving me that opportunity. Chair, I just wanted to inform the Chair, based on actually what you've said, that if you look at the definition of disaster, there is also the word localized, so that when the committee is considering that uh, amendment, they also must remove the issue of the word localized. Okay. And they also need to look at it in tandem with the Victim Protection Act that looks at uh, victimization that have to do with the criminalization in nature, including terrorism. The, the Honorable, do you want to contribute? Yes, the, I could. The, the speaker a... has powers understanding order number one to reverse so that you go before Honorable Dr. Michael because uh, I've been with you long enough in Parliament, Honorable Milio Diambo, to know when you want to contribute and when you want to wait. Do you yeah, want to contribute? Chair, I don't mind waiting. It's just that I thought because you are raising it at that time. Okay, so good. I don't mind I don't mind waiting because he's also my senior. So wait and make those presentations. Don't be able to speak up this. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me opportunity. Mr. Speaker, uh, this is a very important bill and I rise to support it. To support it. And Mr. Speaker, the objective of this is to actually get a legal framework for coordination. And Mr. Speaker, emergency, emergencies on the disasters, or disasters normally have an emergency element. So most disasters will have an emergency element. And if there's an emergency element, there is need 
for preparedness. And these are things